is Misty, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. You know, I mean, I, I want Danny Garcia. I want more than one belt. I don't hear no Danny Garcia fight easy people. The middleweights can fight, fight welterweights. I can fight whoever I want. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Boy, it is getting rough for Danny Garcia, ain't it? I mean, it's really getting tough for him. He is dealing with a firestorm of criticism. And he has no one to blame but himself. Now, let me catch some of you guys up that hasn't been following the news. For those of you guys who don't know, let's put this in chronological order. Originally... Danny Garcia was supposed to face Andre Berto next. For whatever reason, Danny Garcia decided to pull out of negotiations. Then he started negotiating with John John Molina. Now, out of nowhere, he officially signs to fight a guy by the name of Samuel Vargas or Samuel Vargas. Now, Everyone is having a field day on Danny Garcia because Danny Garcia has always been called a cherry picker. But in a certain way, he almost confirms it with this move right here. Matter of fact, um, the picture you guys are looking at on the screen, that's actually a picture that Keith Thurman actually posted making fun of Danny Garcia for taking what is perceived to be a soft touch let me go ahead and quote exactly what uh, Keith Thurman posted when he put that picture up. Quote, enjoy your last cherry of the year. I'll be waiting to take that green belt in 2017. Keith Thurman. You know, um, Danny Garcia is in a really, really difficult situation right now. And I almost feel sorry for him. Because when Danny was at 140... He didn't want to fight Victor Postal. He turned that fight down. Victor Postal was his mandatory. Now at 140, you have fighters like Terrence Crawford, Rancis Bartholomew, straight up monsters at 140. Before Danny moved up to 147, he fought Lamont Peterson and struggled against Lamont Peterson. And we all know Lamont Peterson is not on the level of a Terrence Crawford or even a Rancis Bartholomew. So Danny Garcia, he moves to 147. Now he's in the jungle where the Lions are just as dangerous as they were at 140, but instead, these ones are bigger and stronger. So for Danny Garcia right now, there's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide. Now, I really want you guys to understand that I truly do believe that Danny Garcia is a very gifted fighter. I truly believe he's underrated, to be honest with you. And if he goes in there with guns blazing against a Keith Thurman, that fight is damn near a 50-50 fight as far as I'm concerned. People sleep on Danny Garcia's skills, but people are overlooking his skills because he is making headlines when it comes to cherry picking and avoiding tough competition people see that so much they don't even really focus on how good he is and it really doesn't matter if you're not stepping up in competition anyway right so that's the situation with Danny Garcia right now I just told you guys I just dropped an Errol Spence video where Errol Spence was going in on Danny Garcia and I told you guys in that video that According to reports, Al Heyman, they have been aggressively trying to force Danny Garcia to fight Keith Thurman. And it was Danny Garcia that said, you know, let me just get a tune up bout before I fight Keith Thurman. So now he's fighting this guy Vargas and that's exactly what it is. I said it before and I'll say it again. Since Danny Garcia is choosing to face Sam Vargas. If I was Al Heyman, I would not make this a main event. 
I wouldn't pay Danny Garcia that much for this fight because he chose this opponent. And I would have him fight on someone's undercard. You either do that or you sit on the shelf. That's what I would do if I was Al Heyman. Because there's no way, as far as I'm concerned, this should be considered a main event type of fight. Because it's not. Because it's not. I mean, when you have fighters like Errol Spence, who's willing to fight anyone. And Errol Spence, I truly believe he's always going to be that way. He's been that way since day one. Errol Spence is facing Bundu. He's facing Chris Algieri. He challenged the undefeated at the time, or not undefeated, but uh, one of the best hard-punching prospects, uh, Roberto Garcia. Roberto Garcia pulled out of that fight. Errol Spence has called out tons of undefeated fighters that turned the fight down. Fighters like Lamont Peterson, uh, Sammy Vasquez, who just recently lost, but when he was undefeated, those fighters, they turned down a fight with Errol Spence. Oh, yeah, and another guy turned down a fight with Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, right? So the point that I'm making is you have young lions like Errol Spence who's willing to fight anyone. And then you have a guy that's supposed to be on the top when it comes to welterweights, and he doesn't want to fight anyone at all. But according to Al Heyman, he will almost have no choice but to fight Keith Thurman early 2017. So I'll keep following this story. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.